historically it was a place where people had a hard time finding fish just because of the pollution. And as uh, it's get, getting cleaned up, there are more fish returning and there are more opportunities to bring fish in that were here historically that were extirpated. Conservation projects that have been done downtown that helped with habitat for the trout, but the river itself has healed a lot over time from all sorts of different impacts. So it just, it's much better now than it was 20 years ago. downtown Waynesboro, about a block from the South River. We've been here about 10 years now. We literally have folks coming from all over. Um, this is a popular travel destination because of the mountains and the, the Skyline Drive. And so we've had clients from just about every state on the South River. Having uh, grown up basically in the area, I've seen the river go from different colors every day as a child and people were worried about stepping in the river or having it touch you to having in the 90s a, a nice fishery starting to develop and in the 2000s we really started to see it take off. The South River is an interesting fishery just because of it being so diverse with the warm water influences in the valley as well as some of the streams that are running off of the Blue Ridge. And the most interesting thing to me is actually the springs and the way that the springs influence the water quality. What it means is that it can support a lot of different kinds of fishes. So it can support warm water fishes like bass, it can support some cold water fishes like trout. And one of the things that I've been doing for a while is looking at temperatures in the system. Certain areas support more trout, certain areas support more bass. So I started when I was young, uh, when I was, you know, in my elementary school years, I started fishing. And then as I grew into understanding about fishing, I picked up fly fishing. So it's been a long, uh, interesting journey. The organization that I've been involved with for a long time, Trout Unlimited, recognizes that as members age, we need to bring in a newer cohort. And we have programs where we reach out to the schools. You know, we put a trout tank in the classroom and we get students interested in what are trout and, you know, how do they hatch out of these eggs and grow and where do they live and then we also have programs that engage people in angling. So we have youth camps in the summer that students can go to, learn how to fish. Trout Unlimited. My chapter has been involved actively trying to improve the conditions in the river. You know, we've put in habitat, we put in structures in the river to try to promote conditions that would support more trout and prevent things like uh, erosion and stormwater runoff from impacting the river. The, the benefits are not just to the individual but also to the community and so if the community values the river that's going to bring more people, it's going to bring uh, economic impact uh, that can benefit the whole community. A lot of places we're proud of where we came from, but they're not like they were, and they maybe aren't better than they were. In this case, we're better than we were. You know, we, we just, we've seen that improvement year over year. Now we're able to show it to so many more people, um, you know, by, by drawing more people here. Uh, it, it's not all me or all us, you know, it, it's the quality of the fishery. Uh, that, that does that. You, know, you can brag it up all you want, but if it doesn't deliver when people come, they aren't coming back, and it delivers.